months ago, my sister and I, we started moving internally in our parents' home. It was a crap ton of work. It took so incredibly long. However, slowly but surely, we made our way into our new rooms. And this is my room makeover slash creating my dream bookshelves video. So let me do a reveal in three, two, one. But first, a word from today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a super fast-growing online bookish service, which is absolutely perfect for all fans of books. And that is because they offer a really great subscription. Their team vets hundreds of books each month. They make a curated selection and you get to pick the most exciting new releases, repeat authors, and sometimes even early releases. Each month, you can make a selection from up to seven books. And I swear to you, Book of the Month always has like amazing amazing picks. And even if you don't like any of them, that is also okay because book of the month is risk-free and you can always skip a month if you're not really happy with their choices. They are also super affordable. And especially when you use my personal code, which is Sabine, you can get your first book of the month book for just $9 and 99 cents. And now I will show you guys the two books that I got sent for September. So the first one is a thriller. You guys know that I have been really getting into the thriller game over the past one year. I guess. <laughs> and they had a fantastic selection for September. And that is Killers of a Certain Age by Dina Rayborn. And this seemed amazing to me because it's like old retired women who were assassins and they have to deal with some stuff. Older women often feel invisible, but sometimes that's their secret weapon. They've spent their lives as the deadliest assassins in a clandestine international organization. But now that they're 60 years old, four female friends can't just retire. And the next one that I chose is definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I wanted to do something like that. <laughs> and that is Other Birds by Sarah Addison Allen. From the acclaimed author of Garden Spells comes an enchanting tale of lost souls, lonely strangers, secrets that shape us, and how the right flock can guide your home. I believe it's a magical realism, so let's see what I think of that. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. It is because of companies like them that I can keep on creating content for you guys. So do not forget to use my code Sabine to get your first book of the month book for just $9.99. And now let's go on to my bookshelf reorganization. You've already been able to get a little sneak peek. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, how will I film a video here? Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just, I don't know how to sit. Um, hi guys, <laughs> this is my most chaotic setup ever. And that is because this is gonna be my new room. As you guys can see, I am like completely surrounded by my books because that is basically what my room is right now. It's a library with a bed inside of it. And today I am home for a couple of days. So I really wanna clean out this fucking mess. This god awful color that's on the wall right now will be changed to this beautiful terracotta clear. clear? <laughs> That's Dutch. We'll be changed to this beautiful terracotta color. Hopefully, I don't think it's gonna happen this week because it's gonna be like 30 degrees Celsius. But also I have so much to clear out. It is not okay with how my room is looking right now. But I'm really excited to finally make it my space because I haven't had a proper room for myself in the past couple of months. And in the meantime, I'm also gonna have a look at the books that I will be unhauling, that I don't wanna keep anymore. I'm gonna be super critical because I have way too many books for the amount of space that I have here. <laughs> But wait, <laughs> the fantasy has been ruined. Yesterday I painted this side of the wall and today I'm gonna do one coat on this side too. There are just so many furniture pieces in here that I cannot paint the wall in one coat. And next week the second and then hanging the shelves. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm getting bookshelves today.
little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I think it's been two days and I had to like film some different videos. You can watch my Carrie Soto reading vlog and see what I thought of the book. That's what I've been doing. I've been packing a ton of Etsy orders because I'm also doing a huge back to school sale on all of my Etsy products. I have made some beautiful tote bags, notebooks, bookmarks that I'm still selling on my Etsy store, but now for a 10 to 60% discount on selected products. So that has been keeping me busy, but now I still need to start reorganizing my shelves. And I'm just really scared to begin the process because I don't know how I wanna put my books. I'm not gonna make it like too strict regarding how the genres will be because sometimes I'm, first of all, really bad with deciding or like coming up or thinking of what a certain genre of a book is. So that's already a bit of a struggle. I don't know why I wanna like order it in genre, but I just wanna try a different look instead of rainbow, but I feel like I might want to switch it back after literally a week. So I'm gonna just kind of like put my fantasy paranormal-ish books together. Then I want to make a little section on like thrillers because I feel like those paranormal thrillers, like those genres can sometimes kind of like blend together in certain books that I own. And I think on like the bottom shelf, I want to do like fiction and contemporaries, romances, stuff like that. And then I will put them in alphabetical order. I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, shall we? <laughs> I did the top of my shelves and it's like fantasy books that I have and I am doing them on like alphabetical order and I already don't like how it looks. <laughs> it's just like so random, like all of the colors and it just, I know it's like based on genre and alphabetical order and kind of like putting it into series, but. I don't like how it looks. But I think I'm gonna waste more of my time and still do the rest in alphabetical order and then just see what it looks like and how I made it. And um, then I'll probably change it back to rainbow. <laughs> but I wanna try something different, but I'm having like a crisis at the moment. <laughs> I am so incredibly happy with how my shelves look. Not only is it absolutely the way that I envisioned it in my head, I really wanted to create some shelves that have like, how do you call it, like a corner in them to really create another book nook in my room because that is something that I needed to sacrifice in this new room. I don't have like a cozy reading corner except for this right now. So let me take you through the shelves and do a little book tour. So I consider these three my main shelves right now. And I also have my old bookshelf that I took with me. I will kind of like draw a little bit of how I ordered these books based on genre. It's really not that strict because sometimes I feel like genres kind of flow over into each other. The top shelf right here is definitely a lot of fantasy. I think basically all the books are fantasy books. Some feature my favorite series. I really wanted to display the gorgeous Six of Crows cover. The Rebel of the Sands trilogy is one of my favorite series of when I was a teenager. I also have a little section dedicated to Holly Black and Sarah J Mass belongs in the corner, okay? I haven't finished any of her series. I've read some books sporadically and they're just gigantic. So I wanted to keep them in that corner. And then we have two of my favorite series over here, The Poppy War and A Darker Shade of Magic by Lee Schwab. I'm obsessed with these. They needed to be displayed and be fully there. They deserve the space, okay? Then we are moving on to this corner here on the left, which still features a ton of like fantasy books, but also books that gave me paranormal, dark academia, library vibe. So that is definitely Up Until Babel, my newest prize in my collection. Who else is excited to read this book? Let me know in the comments down below. But the two books here on the left are truly fantasy books that I could not fit on the top shelf. And then here we have some more B.E. Schwab, paranormal fantasies, romances. Like these two are definitely more romance based, but they really fit the aesthetic. And I feel like especially these books, they give me dark academia, witchy autumnal vibes. So that is kind of of this little corner over here. It's not very strict as you can tell. And then next to that, we have mysteries and thrillers. So the book of the month books are just huge. <laughs> and I have a ton of them because they have kindly been sponsoring my videos for the past couple of months and they have such amazing like thriller picks. So I created a whole little section for them. I need to get on this chair to show you what is a little bit behind this corner right here. So I also have some YA thrillers over here. And then in the corner are some books that I'm kind of doubting whether I want 
want to keep them or whether I would actually be reading them. I think for right now it's just Where the Crawdads Sing and The Knife of Never Letting Go by Petrick Ness, but I wouldn't consider that a thriller. I think it's more of like a dystopian novel, but I don't want to give them a lot of attention. So <laughs> that is why I put them in the corner over there. But those little corners over there are definitely a little bit, like a little bit tricky because I am pretty sure that I'm going to forget that there are books in those little nooks and crannies and maybe some that I would actually like to read. So every now and then I have to kind of like look in between there and remind myself of, oh yeah, I do actually own those. <laughs> also, I'm planning on maybe doing a readathon with the Truly Devious trilogy. I mean, it is a YA murder mystery that gives all the fall autumnal dark academia vibes because it also takes place on like a boarding school. So let me know in the comments down below whether you would like to join that readathon. And then next to that, I have the smallest section on my bookshelves, which is like sci-fi-ish books. I think I'm a little bit unsure of the ones we're meant to find, but I do feel like it kind of fits into the same genre. Genre, and it's a little bit of like young adult mixed with adult sci-fi gamer books. And then that is the second shelf. So right now let's go on to my fiction and contemporary shelf. I don't know if you noticed this too about fantasy books, but a ton of them are like black covers, dark blue. So it's very dark. <laughs> what a profound word to use, but contemporaries are more often a little bit more colorful. So that is why I wanted to have that more on like an eye level because I do need that brightness in my life. Plus, I also love the little fairy lights that I collected and that I put on the shelves because it makes it look so magical. And of course, I need some plants. This one is real and these two are fake classic Ikea plants that I think almost everyone owns. <laughs> By the way, these bookends are also from Ikea and they are gorgeous. I will leave like a picture with the name of the product right here on the left because I feel like they look so classical and they just really elevate the look of these shelves because the shelves themselves are extremely cheap and they are not super special. <laughs> but these bookends definitely make it all worth it. So again, I don't really have a specific way of how I I organized these shelves. I think I mostly put like YA contemporaries right over here. I do believe that Dear Martin is like a middle grade, but I'm a little unsure. Some of my series on here are my faves. I absolutely adore Holly Bourne. Loved the exact opposite of Okay when I was a little bit younger. And Elizabeth Acevedo is also amazing. The two All the Boys I Love Before trilogy, I need to film a video on finishing that series because I've never read Always and Forever. So let's make a vlog out of that one too. And then here it starts to mix a little bit with adult contemporary fiction and romances as well. Here we have again a little book of the month corner featuring a lot of romances. Definitely let me know if I need to start one of these soon. I'm definitely planning on reading Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez soon because it seems like a perfect small town romance. And then again, what is behind this corner? Well, let me show you. In this corner are once again some contemporaries that I just didn't know where to put. When Diplomat Rishi, I didn't know where to put because of its bright cover and it just kind of like, I felt like it didn't really fit anywhere on my shelves anymore. And then these contemporaries are sometimes a little bit like mixed with magical realism or this is like a heist story, but it, it's not fantasy. So I just, I don't know where to put you guys, but but this will be your spot for right now. And then this part of the contemporary shelf features a lot of my favorite reads. Absolutely adore The Vanishing Half. And I mean, Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my favorite authors. And of course my queen, Ellis Oseman, absolutely obsessed with her. I haven't read City of Girls yet. And these books over here are also some unread ones, but I just loved how this historical romance and Get Alive Chloe Brown, that series by Talia Hibbert, kind of like matched in covers, like blue, yellow, blue, yellow. So that's why I wanted to put it on there and then like super randomly we have slaughterhouse five by kurt vonnegut over here i just like that it was yellow too <laughs> so yeah that is my main shelf done organized i am absolutely obsessed and then this shelf is kind of a little bit more random with how i organized it starting off with some contemporary fiction that also didn't fit on my left shelf anymore some of it is again like one last stop mixed with fantasy elements i also feel like the house in the cerulean sea is more a fantasy novel but it feels 
feels very much like a contemporary. So I just kind of like put it in there. It's okay, you can fit on that shelf. And then here we have some more contemporaries and then going over to speculative fiction, but also historical fiction, horror, thrillers, and kind of dark academia vibes as well. This is definitely the most weird shelf of them all because it has so many mixed genres in between. Then here we have my Stranger Things Funkos and all of Roald Dahl's books that I owned, but they just did not fit on the shelf, like showcasing all of the spines. It barely fit. Then we have all of my other book of the month books on this shelf too. They are just really big hardcovers, hence why they could only fit on this part of the shelf. So I kind of just like organized them based on color and I think it looks pretty okay. And then down here we have a lot of my other fantasies as well that just didn't fit on the other shelves. I rarely read fantasy. I do love it and I want to get more into all of the books that I own. So definitely let me know if you see a title which one I should pick up first. And then on the bottom shelf I have a ton of my children's fiction. I haven't read a lot of these children's books except for Nevermore, which is one of my absolute favorite series. I adore it so much. And that is basically how that shelf is kind of like organized. Basically, there is not a lot of organization. But the thing is, I also still have a TBR cart. And because these shelves are so spacious, that cart is almost empty, <laughs> which I'm very proud of. And that also means I can buy more books. Should I? No. Do I want to? Yes. So on the top, I have The Toll by Neil Schusterman, which I will be reading very soon, and two fantasy books that didn't fit on my shelves anymore. And all the way down here, I have my nonfiction and graphic novels. So as you can all imagine, I am beyond happy with how this turned out. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of my bookshelves. Do not forget to check out Book of the Month. Use my code Sabine to get your first book for just $9.99. Hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.